What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Review and Review. Today, as you can see, we have a lot of TVs and we are going to unbox them and pretty much show you guys what they're all about. So today, as you can see, these TVs are not tiny. So we will need extra help from someone strong, someone reliable. Just come here. Oh, yay! Uh -oh. <laughs> So the first TV that we will be unboxing is the LG UHD TV. Obviously 4K and it's 70 inch. It's 70. For those of you who don't know how tall 70 inch is, it's about 177 centimeters taller than all of us over here. LG boxes are awesome and how do you do that? So you just lift, uh, you just lift it up. Who need drop? Let's go. No, no, no. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? We hired you to help, not to doubt us. This TV will actually be put into our studio. There's gonna be a 70 inch TV at the studio, which is pretty cool. Yep. We can watch movies. Oh, oh, wrong side. <laughs> wrong side, wrong side. This <laughs> never happened. And ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, Look at this. And one, two, three, yep. Oh! This is heavy. This is heavy. Oh. This is heavier than I expected. Do I take expected. out the, the plastic? Oh. Yes, yes, Jero. Oh, oh, yeah, that's my job. Ma. I help you guys carry, is it? Wait, I, I'm not. You're not helping. So the price of this LG UHD TV is $4,999. <laughs> you guys want to put it down? Yes, please. We're, we're, we're taking this to the studio. So the next TV that we are going to be unboxing is the LG OLED E8 TV. And this is 65 inches. It also comes in 50. 55 inches. Let's unbox this. It's really cool though, the, the whole LG box thing. The price of this is going at $10,999. It's the other side again. It's no, it's not. No, is it's it? not Cheryl. It's not Cheryl. It's not. Is it? But to be honest, the back is glossy as well. Oh, just look no. at it. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. It even has like a glass uh, bottom which just really emphasizes how thin this TV is. As you can see, this TV is really thin. It's two just glass two panels. glass panels put together. Yep. Of course, there is a larger power box at the bottom which makes it a slightly bulkier. And finally, we have the beast. This is the LG OLED C8. And this is 77 inches. It also comes in 65 and 55 inches. What a great time since World Cup is here. Can you just imagine watching football on this? Okay, you ready? Cheryl, are you ready to I, hold? I, I think I take from bottom. Uh. Yeah, you take the bottom. This is gigantic. Ooh. Oh, so I'm, I'm pulling it up. You're pulling it up. Okay. No, you're tearing it up. Ready? Okay, maybe you gotta lift it up. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. We have, a, we have a stand here. We have, we have a stand, stand here, alright? In a way. So this is just half of the stand. And this That's is... The back part. The back, the back, the back. So we definitely have to screw this in. Okay, movers, this please. Okay, we definitely need more than um, my hand. Okay, ready? Oh, this is damn heavy. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold this, don't drop it. Uh. My, hand is, my hands are at the bottom. The screw is all same length, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is that the cover? Is this the cover? Yeah, that's the cover. Can you cover it? So here it is, our 77 inches TV. And this is going at 19,999 Sing dollar. God damn, that's like $1 short of 20K. That is my entire diploma fees. That's 60, 60K, 60K ringgit, yo. All right guys, so it's been about a month using these TVs and the first one we're gonna talk about is the LG OLED C8. This comes in 77 inch. It is huge, it is beautiful, and it is my main TV. The moment I walk in the door, I turn it on, I go onto YouTube, I no longer use my laptop to watch YouTube on my phone, you know, because it's never the same again. No, no, no. The 4K no. is just so beautiful, and you can really see the true detail, and it really, like, when I look at my own videos, it's just, it's just great. It's like the main thing, you know, it's like the main it's attraction the of the thing. house. The first thing you go in, this is the thing you, you go walk to. walk in and it's like, boom! 77 inch and TV. I must not forget to mention that literally this has been the best thing for the World Cup. Like, I did Whoa. not go out to watch a single match during the World Cup. All I did was invite people to my house yeah. and everyone who watched World Cup on this TV did not go elsewhere. So now let's get into a bit of what OLED really is. So what OLED stands for is an organic light emitting diode. Each individual organic compound will light up when they are fed with electricity. So OLEDs can be made so small that they can be used as individual pixels which can light up and shut off 
independently. OLEDs are thinner and require no backlight, which means less power, making them more efficient. So a display's ability to produce deep dark blacks is so important because it achieves higher contrast and richer colours and just makes the overall picture so beautiful and that is why LG OLED does this the best. So you guys seen our video where we unboxed the W8, well today we are showing you the C8 and the E8. The C8 is the best value of the range, it is not the most fancy, it is not the highest performer but, but it is the best value. Exactly! So if you look at the design of the C8, it is really simple and really thin. It is so thin that we had to take 8 credit cards to match the thinness of the TV. Of course there is the power bar that holds all the electronics at the back yeah. but honestly Right, nobody really looks at the back. No one looks at the back. You know, honestly, I was actually very scared when we took out this TV at yeah, first yeah, yeah, yeah. because it looks so thin like the W8, but surprisingly, it's actually quite sturdy. And that is all because of the bottom bar right here. And this design has its purpose, it does not only curve this way for nothing because the C8 has a downward firing speaker. So the curve of this panel will actually shoot the audio towards you. So before we move on to the EA, we should probably talk about Web OS, which is the operating system in the LG TVs. Now I've been using this for a month and I have to say, this is the best operating system in any TV that I've ever used. I have a really big TV that is not LG in the office and even though it looks really nice, I no longer use it because it is not as easy to use as this. Now honestly, this is so simple. From this magic remote, you actually have a cursor. Ah, yeah. You can yeah. just navigate. It's like a it's like a computer, you know, where you have a mouse. Oh, like a mouse. But, okay. So this is the menu, and it comes in cards. Ah. So it's actually very user friendly. For example, you can pull this and make it your favorite. Ah. I mean, if that's if that's your thing to make this your favorite. So by the way, if you're uncomfortable using the cursor, if you feel like maybe this is not your thing, you can easily turn it off and use the buttons right here. It is really very simple to use because of this magic remote. So speaking of the magic remote, if you're too lazy to scroll around, you can use a voice activated control, also known as the Think AI. So all you have to do is just press into the microphone button here and just give it your command. For example, you're too lazy to turn down the volume. All you have to do is just press set volume to 30. Bam! And if you're going to sleep and you want to watch something but it's too loud, mute. Boom! Mute! But to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of voice recognition yet. I'm very comfortable with using this uh, Magic Remote. But one thing about this remote is it fits so well in your hands. Oh yes. And it's not too heavy and it's not too light. And I've dropped it a few times but nothing has, nothing has happened. And the best thing about it, right? is that when it was almost out of battery, the TV actually informed me that my power was dropping. Wow! So I would know to change my remote oh. batteries. So no more knocking your remote. Yeah, no more walking like, why isn't this working? <laughs> Changing it with the aircon battery. It's like small details like that that you really appreciate in yes. tech. Literally like making life good. Yes. So the true difference between the 2018 models compared to the previous models is LG's new Alpha 9 processor. The Alpha 9 processor basically is capable of handling noise reduction, the sharpness of the TV, and colour handling. I mean, when we talk about noise reduction, we're not talking about noise from the speaker. No, no, no. We're talking about the noise on the screen. It's those little dots you see when there's a very dark scene. So with the Alpha 9 processor, noise is gone even in the darkest scenes, which means there's more depth to the picture, the outlines are sharper, and basically, it's just cleaner. So the E8 and C8 both support the most common HDR standard, which is hybrid log gamma, Dolby Vision and HDR10 Pro. So if you guys didn't know what HDR is, HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. And so basically, our eyes are able to see a lot more than usual displays show us. So HDR aims to perfect that. And it does that by expanding the contrast ratio and the color palette, which gives us a more natural and realistic looking image. Dolby Vision and HDR10 Pro support dynamic data processing that allows scene-by-scene -scene HDR adjustments that makes the visual so lifelike as if you're at the scene. Alright, so now let's move on to the E8. So right here we have the LG E8 and this is a 65 inch model. It also comes in a 55 inch model as well. This is the TV that I put in my bedroom. So after having a long day watching TV on my C8, I go back upstairs to watch TV on the E8. There are a lot of similarities between these two TVs. For example, 
both are equipped with the awesome Alpha 9 processor. Both have webOS as their operating system. And both TV actually supports the most common HDR like we mentioned earlier. But the difference really comes in the design and sound. Now this is the first TV of the range that features LG's picture on glass design. So as you can see, this is actually a glass panel right here that extends across the bottom of the TV. And it extends from the bottom of the TV through the stand so it makes it look like the TV is floating. And it just looks a lot more elegant and classy in your home. And to be honest, this TV also looks really good from the back. I mean, not that, you know, people usually go to the back or watch TV from the back, but I'm just saying that the TV looks really good from behind. And not everyone mounts their TV on the wall, okay? Some people put it in the middle of their house if there's space, put a plant. But what I'm saying is that you don't need a plant anymore because it looks pretty good from the back. Okay, but I still prefer to watch my TV from the front. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And when it comes to audio, both the E8 and the C8 has a 4.2 channel speaker system. The only difference is that the E8 is front firing while the C8 is downward firing. And both these TVs has Dolby Atmos which gives you the most optimal cinematic experience at home with 360 surround sound. So in conclusion, the C8 and the E8 are both absolute beasts. Yes, and I've been using the two TVs a lot over the past month and to be honest, before this, the only time I watch TV or use a TV is for when I play games. Everything else I do on a laptop, but ever since I got these TVs in the house, everything has been done on the TVs, YouTube, everything. Alright guys, so do remember to subscribe to us and thank you for watching this video. Comment down below what else you'd like us to review and like this video and see you guys next time. Bye! -bye.